Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday and today I want to expand on one of my tweets which went almost viral, pretty popular, that I realized how overwhelming it is for junior developers, but not only juniors. So quite often I get the questions via email and YouTube and Twitter like what should I learn or what tool should I pick? So imagine a developer in the beginning of their path and they are lost between the terms of full stack, live wire, inertia, view, SPA and stuff like that. They don't even know or understand what those terms mean. But since everyone is talking about them on Twitter and elsewhere, they are in a weird position under impression that they need to know it all to become a real full stack developer. For beginners who haven't even started coding, imagine their situation. They need to learn HTML, CSS, PHP, all those fundamentals, then framework, then deployment, then front end, back end, mobile API and stuff like that. It's really overwhelming. And the problem is the biggest problem is those people are overwhelmed and they don't even start something because they want to understand the full picture and then they are under impression that when they see the full picture and what term means which direction, they would be able to choose the direction more wisely. In fact, this is not the case. In my opinion and in my experience, it's better to start something, lower the scale of your goal and focus on something more achievable. So instead of learning to be a full stack developer, create the first website with HTML. That's it. So your deliverable, your goal is to launch your first website on some domain something.com. It could be a static website, it could be just HTML without CSS or with inline CSS, whatever. Similarly with Laravel, your first goal may be the first project with just Laravel without any full stack things. Or for example, if you're not sure what to pick Livewire or Inertia, you may pick both and your goal may be to create two projects, two very simple projects which would use both of them. So one project with Livewire and one project with Inertia and then you would have clear comparison between them. So my point of this video is to how to unoverwhelm yourself is decide on the next step or the next few steps. If you are not sure what to decide, what to pick as next steps, in most cases, it doesn't matter. Pick any of them if those choices seem similar or ask around, ask your friends maybe, ask for some mentorship. Maybe I can help you with that. So you can email me, pavelis at laravaldaily.com if you are at a crossroad not knowing what to choose for your next steps. But focus on next steps, not on the full picture, not on some giant flow chart that you would use as like full picture of the web development world. That doesn't really exist. I've seen some charts where people try to kind of write down the ecosystem with all the titles and all the dependencies like HTML, CSS, JavaScript frameworks and stuff like that. But they were so giant and constantly changing, it doesn't even make sense to have that picture in your mind. That picture would actually automatically build in your brain as much as you go through the next step and then the next step and then you would add more tools to your tech stack and then you would start seeing the full picture or more like you're part of that picture and then you would realize that the full picture doesn't matter. What matters is that you would become efficient in your part of web development world choose your stack or choose stack that would land you a job in some companies and then focus on being the best at that. Full stack developer doesn't mean know it all. So yeah, to recap how to unoverwhelm yourself, focus on the next steps. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.